Hi everyone. Today we are going to be beginning our right eye. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that a few of you understood in the emails that the left eye that we created last week, this area needs to be darker, which is the lower rim inside the white of the eye, so that there's a highlight right here on the inside of that rim. And we want to make sure that's apparent. Also, at the bottom, it's going to be a little bit darker. Okay, so we want to make sure that this area is darker. Again, this area does need some shade to it as well as the area above here, keeping in mind that this is a highlight. So we can darken this a little later, and we're going to be doing that later on next week. But right now we don't want to do it too dark. So as we go through, in some of the notes, I said you want to make sure that the eyelashes, where there would be eyeliner through here, is darker. And I think a few of you know who I'm speaking about in your emails. So this area, you're just going to keep doing a little bit more of the eyelashes just to lay them down. And that's how that gets to be a little bit darker. Just keep in mind that you have a highlight here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead to the right eye today. This is exciting, isn't it? So I want to make sure that when I pull this away, we have these two darker areas here. And yes, we do need to dirty this up just a little bit. A regular paper towel will do. We're not going to make it too, too dirty. And we know how to roll our paper towel. So you're going to take a square. Okay, you're going to lay it on top of your finger. I always do the smooth side out. So lay it on top of your finger. Bend it back. Grab it underneath. Okay, we have a little bit of graphite, which is what I asked you to throw down earlier. I just kind of re-added on mine. Put a little bit of graphite down. You're going to roll your paper towels we've done before. Here's my graphite. That's all I did. And I'm going to unload a little bit of it so I can smash it into the paper towel. Looking at your good picture, this area through here, it's not that there's a unibrow, but she does have a little bit of a darker shade through here. So this has created a little bit too light. We're going to be taking care of the nose next week, so we don't need to worry about that. But as you can see, she does have a highlight through there. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to, with tiny little circles, I'm just going to be darkening this up just a little bit. We're just going to graze it through, okay? So as I graze it through, it does make it a little bit darker through here than what it is right here. This is untouched. That's just darkened a little bit. Okay. So let's get ready for the eye. So before we left, we had done this bat wing over here together. And then underneath it, you can see that there is a highlight, correct? Well, this highlight, do you see how the edging through here is a little bit darker? Well, what I'm going to do to create this highlight is on this side where the eyebrow connects to the edge of the paper, I'm going to come down through here and stop, okay? So I'm just going to darken this up just a little bit. I'm not going to go too deep with it, but what I want to do is I'm just going to get this area ready for the highlight, okay? So if I darken this a little bit and I come over here where the nose shaft is, again, I'm just going to kind of lighten, keep this area light up here. But I do have to darken a little bit through here. And I'm not going to go too deep with this, okay? I'm just going to kind of keep a little bit shaded. The more that I do down here, that's kind of like going to get me ready for next week. But I know that I need this little bag. We all have them. We talked about that last week. Okay. So with that bag, and I'm going to darken my screen a little bit. So hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better. Might be a little too bright for you. I can also at this time get a paper towel that is a blending stump. That's an older one. You can see I have a lot of graphite. It's pretty used up. It's pretty beat up. I like that. I'm going to kind of pull my pencil back a little bit so I can bend this up. Okay. For a little bit of graphite. And here is where I am very carefully going to begin to draw this bag. Okay. Keep in mind I have a little bit of a highlight right here. All right, so if we draw that bag, and we had done this earlier, I'm going to try to create that little highlight 
area. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to pop that out just momentarily. So what I've created is a little bit of a highlight area here. Yes, it looks like she has a black eye, but we're going to take care of that here in a second. So right here is a little bit, I'm going to turn my light on to see if that's a little better. I keep shading my paper and I apologize. Let's see, that might be a little better. So we do have a bag and on the inside rim of her eye, I want to make sure that I'm going to get a fine enough blending stump that when you look at this shade, the inside of her eyelid at the very tippy top is darker than the white on the inside of her eye. And don't worry, we're going to pop that out here in a second. That goes the same with the back side of her rim. Okay. And I know I started this video pretty quick, everybody. It's just that my internet is really spotty. And I'm sure yours is too. And I needed to get this out because I do have some students who are really raring to get these worked on. So I'm trying not to let you down as best as I can. I hope all of you are doing well at home. Here, I'm just going to wind this up a little bit more to kind of enclose this area so it can stay a little bit more highlighted. Okay, now we're going to erase that here in a second. But before I do, let's take care of the upper eyelid. Now the upper eyelid, which is right here, above it is a little bit shaded. So I'm going to go in with my ebony pencil and I'm going to outline what we already have. Be very mindful of your lines. So it's like a diagonal. Here's that corner that we created in class together. Do you remember that? And then we're going to go to the back where there's another slight corner through here. And what I can do is I'm going to blend this just slightly with my sharp blending stump because I don't want anything to stay a hard line. So a couple of you as emails when you're showing me your progress, I asked you to make sure that you don't have those pencil lines. And this is what I was referring to. So I'm going to get a little bit of a dollar uh, black ebony or if you have a dollar to be pencil, that would be fine on the inside of my tear duct. I'm just going to darken that a little bit where that line is. See that tiny little line there? We're going to soften that in a second. And again, I just want to make sure I don't lose this line. This is very fine. We're going to take care of this later. We just want to make sure that we don't get that erased out. Okay, so let's do what I said we were going to do. So we're going to soften this upper line so it doesn't look as if it's a hard line. And we did darken this a little bit out here, but we have to be mindful of our line here. So when you look very carefully on the inside of the white of the eye, right in here, there is a little bit more of a shadow there. Okay. So what I did was I went through and I darkened that a little bit with my blending stump. Okay. Now I'm going to take my pink pearl. I'm going to carve that out so I no longer see that heavy pencil line. And I'm also going to do that right here. Now, if I can't see that little highlight that I have right there, what does that mean? Well, it means that I have to dirty the area around it, right? In order to create the highlight. And we can see that happening right there. Okay. I'm just going to dab this a little bit because that white of the eye is not quite as bright. Now, this area that I have, I'm going to do a little bit of a pop with my kneaded eraser because it's a little too thick, a little too dark. I don't want her to be quite that dark. And I'm just going to kind of pop this up through here. So what I ended up having is I have, and let me point to it, I have a shadow in the white of the eye right here. I have a very thin little area right here, and I'm going to take that out just slightly. So I have a white area. And then I have the shade again. Now I can still see that pencil line and I have to get rid of that. So I'm going to draw right up to it with my blending stump and little circles. And I want to be careful not to do it too much. So I might want to pop that just a little bit on this outer edge just to relax it. And I was so proud of you 
for doing your eyes the other day, everyone. You're doing a fantastic job. This is not an easy situation. You know, working from home, I'm very blessed to be able to do this. Um, our Wi-Fi at school, I understand, is a little bit spotty. It might have, again, been because of that storm. So we're all trying our best. So please reach out to me. I love you guys dearly. We're going to see how well this eye goes this week. And then I'm hoping to get the nose done. This should be a very quick thing to do. And then we'll take care of the lips possibly next week. But we will be discussing that together. So right here is a little bit of a darker area. And I don't want it to look as if she has a black eye. You can see that on the outside here, it's not quite as dark when you look at the good picture. So I'm just going to take this in just slightly and I'm going to pop it a little bit just to relieve the pressure on that. You see how that changes it? Okay, that's all I need to do for that. Now, there's only a couple steps left and I believe you know how to do this. First one is we're going to look at your other eye. Okay, and your other eye, you want to make sure again that your pupil was round right? It's the same shape as what you should have here. Your highlights, see my highlights bigger, but I'm going to shape that here in a little bit. First thing I want to do is I want to make sure, so I'm going to leave these together so you can see them. I want to make sure that my pupil is round and it's the correct area where it needs to be. And see over here, I need to shape that a little better to make that a little bit more round. See what I did? I shaped that up a little bit. So here's the easy, fun part, right? To make our life in our eyes. We're going to give it life. We are going to put the black ebony down. And I apologize that I'm hurrying so much, everybody. It was a little slower on the last video. But again... I don't know about the internet connection that I have. So I want to make sure that the whites are pretty close to the same. I need to shape this a little better. So it's a little bit of a, a circle. Now, if I happen to eat it up a little bit too much, because it looks like I did, I will need to just open it up. And I think I'm going to open it up over here. And see, it's pretty easy to do. I can still use a clean pink eraser to do that because I think I need a little bit more white on this side. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and shape this up like this. There we go. Now what's left we're going to do are the bicycle spokes. And I think you all remember how to do Hello. that. So we can go through and do our three o'clock, to the four o'clock, to the five o'clock, to the six o'clock. Now, if you notice, I am using a black ebony pencil, but I'm using it ever so lightly. It doesn't matter if you have your black ebony or if you have your 2B. Whatever one you're using, you want to make sure you have a very light hand. That's one of the things I wanted to point to you all also. Last week, a couple of the top of your irises were a little too light. So when I was talking about the shadow that's on the top half of this iris, you want to make sure that you darken it just at the top third. We don't want to go down too much. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to darken that ahead of time. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that a little bit. All right, so you're going to take a sharp blending stump and we're going to do a little bit of a blend and if you notice I left the pencil line around her eye now why did I do that well because when you look at her eye for the iris she has a little bit of a white area we're going to add at the bottom rim but she also has an outline that looks as if it's um, a little darker. So I'm going to like neaten this up just a smidge. And I'm going to add this little white area at the bottom. Okay, you can see I added that right there. Now I am going to take a 2B pencil and very carefully 
I'm going to start from the outside. And I am very so carefully and slightly, as I like to use that word a lot the last video I noticed, I'm going to do my tiny little hands of a clock for where they need to be. And again, I'm going to shape this up and I'm just going to draw this. As I go down, I'm going to lighten my lines a little bit, lighten my hand pressure. Every now and again, I might strike through it to make it look more realistic. Down here, she has a couple little areas that are darker when you see this little area right where the white is. She has a little bit of a darker area right here. And we're going to blend that out a little bit. I'm not 100% thrilled with my shape right here. So I'm just going to reshape her iris. It's never too late to reshape. Just going to trim that down a little bit. Trim the fat, so to speak. And we'll pick up on it again. Now, if you do not happen to have a paper towel that's sharp, I want to again show you how to roll your paper towel. It's a square that you begin with and you fold it twice. You're going to get a 2B pencil. You're going to put that triangle towards your belly, right? And you're going to put this on top of it, not through it, but hold it back a little bit, wrap it up over and hold that. See how I made a cone right there? And as I roll it, see, I keep this tip right here. I roll it, and Mrs. Marple doesn't have any tape, but that's okay. I'm just going to roll it and use it as is. Now, there's a nice, sharp blending stump. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go in. Remember, we're making lemonade with lemons. It's okay if I don't have any tape. And my husband can't hear me that I need tape because he's in the back of the house answering the phone. So I'm going to kind of draw with this a little bit. I think this is a good time for me to shape this area down here a little bit better for the lip. I'm going to pop that a little bit more. It's a little too, a little too dark. This has to have a shadow just a little bit there okay so as I'm doing this while I have this I'm gonna go ahead and darken just slightly a little bit of her upper eyelid okay just a little bit all right because we want it to match the other one a little better now if you notice I don't have any white bicycle spokes like when I added it in over here so I will be needing to do that. I'm going to tone this down a little bit and take my white eraser. Just kind of tone that down. I said I was going to pop this a little bit because that looks a little too dirty. Looks more like a line. Let's get rid of that. Okay. And I'm going to enclose my little white area at the bottom of that rim. So I can still see that little highlight. Now, if you remember, when we do eyelashes, I'm going to show you again how we do eyelashes with the piece of paper that I have. And I went ahead and drew the eyes and Mrs. Marple has her eye right here. When you draw eyelashes, and we're going to look at hers together. It never really crosses the top of her rim, does it? So right here, again, would be your midnight. So you have just a couple that come up from here. <clears throat> As we're going outwards, or excuse me, inwards towards the tear duct, she's just going to have a few, and they're coming off of this line, correct? And they're getting smaller and less thick. And we can always add a little bit more through here if we need to. So on this one, we're going to start laying them down. That's what this is called, laying them down. So we're going to drop them down and up. Drop it below this line and back up again. And a couple of them do pass that crease until finally they lay out. That's what we're going to do. Now, to make it look as if it's much darker, 
because it's it's very thick here, isn't it? It looks like almost like eyeliner. All we do with that is you just go over it and over it and over it and over it low. Okay, and I'm going to try not to press too hard. I'm going to switch pencils. I'm going to try not to press too hard because I'm going to end up going through my paper, and I want to be really careful with that. But it's hard for me to move things around. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. But first, let's do some erasing through this direction here for the white inside the iris. Can you see that? I'm going to do those strokes just like that with my pink pearl eraser. So let's do that together. So first you want to make sure that your pink pearl is clean. So you just want to create a nice clean pink pearl by erasing it. And through here, we're just going to do her tiny little bicycle spokes that you see. Switch that over here. Get a little bit cleaner. There, right to about nine o'clock. Okay, and I can neaten that up a little bit more. And when you look at them together, they do rather match. All right, now let's go ahead and get our sharp 6B black ebony pencil. And we're going to go ahead and begin that first eyelash right here, and they're pretty low. And I'm gonna come out towards the outside because these are easier. I want you to try these first. We're gonna drop down and go up, drop down and go up, until finally one lays down outwards like this. One does cross above the line here. There's almost like another one or a wrinkle through here. I don't want to forget, I do have that little bit of a line right there. If you don't see it, sure, you can add that in a little bit, make it a little bit more crisp. I might have blended that out a little bit too much. So here is where we start to thicken it. Okay, so just at the base, that's what that is. You see how much darker that's getting? That's what you want. Then we're going to go back to midnight, just a couple here. And over on this side, we're just going to do a few and space them out. And they're going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. I might lift a couple of these up. Okay. So I want to see again how yours are going to look. So make sure you draw these and get them to me in an email by Wednesday. Okay. Now at the bottom, what I'm going to do is on this white line, this is where we're creating our very, very light eyelashes. And I'm going to switch over to a 2B because it's a sharper lead and it's thinner. Okay, and you can start with the 2B through the whole thing. So that's my lower ones. Now, there's going to be a little bit of a line right here. So I've been holding on to this. I'm going to grab just a slight bit of graphite on it, not very much. And right through here, I'm going to create that line. See that little bag? I'm going to create that. That's what I want to do. And at the time, I'm going to soften this up a little bit. I want to get rid of a little bit of that highlight, but I still want to keep some of it. And at this time, this is when I can tone down areas if I need to. Okay, now this through here, I might just pop a little bit more just to relax that white a little bit. And I will pinch off a little bit of the kneaded eraser if I need to be. Whoops, need to be. And I am going to create a little bit more of a highlight down here at the rim. So this is basically, you're making it your own. I'm going to increase my little white over here a little bit more. I hope this is a little bit of a shorter video for you, so it's not as long. Because we already did the other eye, so this one should be rather simple for you. That's all we're going to do today, and we're going to look at this one together. So this is looking pretty good, isn't it? So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. I want you to try your best. I love you all so very, 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 very much. And I want to make sure that you're well taken care of. If you are struggling, please reach out to me. Don't forget this little area right here needs to stay white. Please reach out to me, everyone. Okay? I miss you, and I will write you as soon as you write me.
Okay? God bless you. And I will be talking with you shortly. Bye-bye.